Hi friends, welcome to Breathe with Georgie. I'm Georgie and today I'm going to take you on a breathing journey for cooling down post cardio. So find yourself a nice comfortable space and let's get breathing. So a friend of mine was telling me she was really struggling to come back down to that resting state after a really intense session of physical exercise, something like a HIIT workout or a really intense cardio session. She would struggle to get her heart rate to come back down and felt herself feeling quite stressed and quite anxious for some time after working out, which is not the aim after working out, right? You're wanting to feel good after you've worked on yourself in some way. And so luckily I said I had a breathing journey for that. And it's from The Oxygen Advantage by Patrick McEwen. It's called Many Small Breath Holds. It's a really, really simple exercise just to bring you back into that parasympathetic rest and digest state after an intense exercise session. Now, we thought we'd make a video so that anyone suffering with the same sort of problem could benefit from the Many Small Breath Holds breathing journey. So give it a watch, feel free to follow along and let me know in the comments if it helped you guys as well to cool down and come back a little bit quicker to that resting state after exercise. Hey Kay Nash, how you doing? Hi, good. How are you? Really good. Really good. Thank you. Awesome. Um, so could you tell me a little bit about what's going on with you after exercise? I know we've talked a little bit before, uh, but just for everyone watching, for everyone listening, could you let us know a little bit about what's going on with you after exercise, what you need help with with breathing? Yes, I'm so excited you're going to help me because this is something that has bugged me for years, actually. Oh, man. Um, it goes all the way back to when we were doing Turbo Fire on the ah, ship. When we were <laughs> the ship together. Yes, that's a great um, workout. I would finish um, this 45 minute like cardio kind of kickboxing workout mm -hmm. and I would go to do my makeup before the show because we were right. performing on the ship yeah. and my hand would be shaky like I would try to put my makeup on my hand would be shaky and oh. as the years have gone on and I have an eye watch that tells me my heart rate yeah. I've realized that my heart rate is staying really high after I work out and it takes yeah. super long to calm down um typically if I'm doing yoga or something I my heart rate will stay pretty low right or a long cardio with a long warm down it will it will settle itself out but particularly with a super Super high cardio or a HIIT workout, sometimes my heart rate can be high for 30 to 45 minutes afterwards, which does make me feel quite anxious because it makes me feel like I'm panicky, but yeah. it's really my heart rate just won't come down. So yeah, you know, interestingly, I don't think the brain actually knows the difference uh, between when we're anxious because of something external or something that's mentally affecting us or just um, from those sort of physical signals, like an increase in heart rate. I'm not sure the brain actually knows the difference. They're the, pretty much the same feelings. Hey. Wow. Yeah. That, I mean, totally makes sense. It, it yeah. does feel like that, that edging up to a panic attack, but I'm like, I just worked out. I'm fine. My endorphins are kicking, you know that, but I feel like to feel fine. good. Right. Yeah. But exactly. Exactly. I'm like, well, I did, I did the thing, you know, and here I am I again. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting too. I mean, um, it's interesting in terms of that it's a HIIT workout and that it's a heavy cardio workout because of course with any of those workouts you're putting your body under a considerable amount of stress um, and not necessarily that stress is a bad thing for the body you know uh, some amount of stress for the body is is really really good um, but it is a form of stress so I think it's really important I think it's important for a lot of people to know how important a warm up but also how important a cool down is after you're working out um, because if we don't bring ourselves down from that state of stress um, we're possibly actually instructing our bodies and our brains that that's where we're staying and that's where we are right now and our heart rate is elevated and it maybe needs a little encouragement to come back down. Um, right. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to take you through a little journey. Uh, it's just called Small Breath Holds and it's something that is from the Oxygen Advantage. Um, super, super effective as a warm up for your workout, but also as a warm down. It's super simple. It consists of taking a normal breath in, 
a normal breath out, holding the breath for five seconds and then breathing normally for 10 seconds. We'll do this for about two to three minutes. Just quickly, I'll explain why we're doing this. I think it's always better, right? Do you agree to know why you're doing something? Yes, absolutely. If I'm just like, oh, I'll go through the exercise. No, I want to know what muscle I'm stretching, what, what, why I'm doing this, what's the intention behind it. I love that. Amazing. Great. So by doing small, small breath holds, um, what we're doing is, and especially if we're taking them in and out through our nose, we're harnessing a gas called nasal nitric oxide. Now by harnessing this gas, when we hold the breath, it comes into the and pulls in the nasal cavity. And then when we resume breathing again, it goes into the lungs, as well as um, that gas as well, by holding that breath for a little short amount of times, we're increasing the amount of carbon dioxide in our blood. Both these gases are really, really important for opening the blood vessel, sorry, increasing circulation and um, encouraging more oxygen to get where it needs to go to those working muscles and tissues. So by bringing the attention onto the breath, you're slowing that breath down. By holding the breath, you're upping those levels of CO2 in your blood, allowing more oxygen to get where it needs to go. And you're putting yourself back into that parasympathetic state, that calm, focused state, um, rather than in that sympathetic state of stress, that fight or flight. We're coming back down, we're breathing back down, slowing the breath, pausing after the exhale, back into that state of rest and digest. All of that sounds amazing. Great. Okay, should we do it? I, yeah, I'm ready. Awesome. All right. So you're in a chair, right? You're just in a nice little comfortable chair there. Beautiful. So just make sure before we start, the crown of your head's kind of balanced over the center of your pelvis. Just notice if you're leaning forward or leaning back. Just make sure you're nice and in alignment. Amazing. And I want you to imagine a string pulling you up just from the top of your head, not forcing your spine up, but just feeling a sense of lift in the body. Lovely. If you feel comfortable enough, start to close your eyes for me and just start to bring your awareness onto your breath. Just notice in this present moment how air is entering and leaving your body. And now this is interesting too because you've just worked out. So you might find that you're still feeling that breath a little bit elevated. That's okay. Just sit with it. Be curious about it. Now you're in a safe space. It's safe to breathe. And just bring your awareness onto your breath. Don't worry if any thoughts come in or anything like that. It's absolutely normal. Just bring the awareness right back to the breath. Amazing. Just noticing how air is entering and leaving your body. Again, no judgment. And just when you're ready, you're going to take a normal breath in. And a normal breath out, and you're just going to hold the breath for one, two, three, four, five, and breathe normally. Just going to breathe normally here for about 10 seconds, then we're going to go again. Well done, really nice. Just notice while you're resting, if there's any points of tension in your body, allow yourself to breathe into them. Give them permission to release. And again, we're just gonna take a normal breath in and a normal breath out. And after that exhale, hold that breath for one, two, three, four, five, and breathe normally, really nice. Every time you come back to that breath, you come back to that relaxation, giving your body permission to settle down, to come back to that place of rest, coming back to that place of calm, really nice. And again, normal breath in, normal breath out and hold for one, two, three, four, five. Amazing and rest, good. Just a couple more rounds here, well done. Hopefully you found just by bringing your attention onto your breath and just by coming into this space to rest, to recover, you might find the cadence of your breath has slowed down ever so slightly. And again, take a normal breath in, take a normal breath out and hold for one, two, three, four, 
five and breathe normally. Amazing. You just got one more left. Noticing any sensations that are coming about your body, just being curious about them, not trying to control anything, just allowing your body to do its thing and coming back to that place of relaxation. And last time, take a normal breath in, normal breath out and hold the breath for one, two, three, four, five, relaxing into that breath hold and breathe normally. Good, again, focusing in on any of those sensations coming about your body. Not trying to control anything, just allowing your body to come to this place of rest and recovery. Good, and when you're ready, just start to bring your awareness back to your physical body. Feel your chair underneath you, grounding you, supporting you, keeping you nice and safe. Good, start to notice your feet, your knees, legs, hips, pelvis, your upper body, shoulders, elbows, arms, wrists, start to move in any way you feel you need to. If you wanna have a little wiggle, yeah, a little loosen, that little wiggle dance, that's fine. And when you feel ready, start to flutter your eyes open and just come back into your space only when you feel ready. And just keep this feeling, these new sensations that you have. Good, and come on back into your space. Ah, just take a breath in together. And take a nice full exhale. You can take this one out the mouth. Just take a little sigh. Ah, lovely, good. Oof. How was your experience? Let me know how you're feeling. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. <laughs> I do. I feel very good. Um, <laughs> such simple words for such a big monumental feeling. I feel uh, really calm. I think at first, you know, for anybody, maybe you've done these videos before, they've mentioned it's like, all right, well, I'm on camera, you know, and I'm, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm on camera. And that those were the thoughts that I kind of just let go. And um, probably by the third breath, I was almost completely on board, which is crazy for me because I really struggle from with meditation of any kind. And I know this wasn't a full meditation, but no, you know, I just, I really struggled to let my mind go. Yeah. And by the third breath, I was with you. I mean, totally with you. And mm. I feel like leading into that breathing exercise, I was like, Oh, I really hope this works. I really hope this works, which kind of built up my anxiety. Well, yeah. Hoping for an outcome, right. Is, is the worst for, for that. Started, my heart rate was definitely up and it is very, it's really chill now. And it's exactly what you said in the middle of the exercise of um, that. My breath got longer. It wasn't mm -hmm. when I was breathing normally. Yeah. And as I got further into the exercise, it got longer and longer. And I, yeah, I feel amazing. I really Amazing. Like just, and just for two to three minutes, it's actually really interesting. You say that, that you find meditation quite uh, difficult. And I think a lot of people get intimidated by meditation because anyone that has any, I mean, we all have some form of anxiety on, on some level, it's a spectrum, right? But people that suffer with slightly higher levels, um, and I've been told this in my training with the Oxygen Advantage as well, that the worst thing you can do with someone who suffers from anxiety in any way is ask them to just focus on their breathing and to not think. Because it's like saying, don't think of a pink elephant, right? Because then what do you instantly think of pink elephant? You know, yeah. if you say, let your mind be clear of all thoughts, probably every thought that you have in the world will rush into your mind. Absolutely. Yeah. It's something you haven't thought of in 10 years and suddenly you're like, why is my mind there? Right. Like, yeah. Right. And so I think it is so much more advantageous and um, quicker to get to that place, actually, to just think, OK, no, it's I'm, I'm not focusing on that. I'm just being curious about where I am right now. Let's become aware. Right. And then let's breathe out. Breathe in. Sorry. Breathe out. Hold the breath for five seconds. Rest for 10. Let's do this for two to three minutes. And you're focusing more than 
on staying with the journey rather than putting yourself under this pressure to meditate right, which is something may, I think a lot of people struggle with as well, actually. Absolutely. And I think that there's something also about holding your breath when it's out too, because a lot of people are like, hold the breath in, hold the breath in, which I'm sure that there are benefits to that too. But there's sure. something about holding the breath when it's out, kind of just freeing yourself. I don't know. I It's the first time I think I've really kind of thought of it that way, but it really totally worked for me. Yeah. And I think as well, when I do it too, it does feel like an extension of the exhale because you're holding it for such a short amount of time that if you think of when you're panicking, you go, <gasps> right? Whereas when we're going or out, you know, out your nose or whatever, it's, it's fine for the moment to, for however you're breathing, just to make sure you hold that breath for five seconds, but exhaling and then just holding, you relax into that pause. My dog is getting involved now. You have a friend? Oh, we love dogs getting involved. <laughs> we'll go for a walk in a moment, okay? <laughs> <laughs> love it love it but yeah extending that exhale I think can be the really relaxing thing yeah I think I, it totally I can't wait to use this you know immediately I worked out probably about 20 minutes ago and then leading up into this I was like oh my gosh how is this gonna go you know but I'm super stoked to try it right after a hit workout and see how it goes then but I'm sure it's gonna be great Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you felt the benefits. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me, for helping me out and it letting me take different. you through a little breath journey. Everybody breathe with Georgie. Wow. She's amazing. Plug, 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 plug. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that guided breathing journey and can add it to your toolbox to use for your post-workout cooldowns. Just a note that this breathing journey can also be used during the early stages of a panic attack or an anxiety attack just to bring yourself back down to that sense of calm before anything gets out of control. All right, guys. See you next time. Mm -hmm.